Good Friday morning, everybody. Chris Allen with your weather podcast for this July 29th, the last Friday of the month. We're almost to August, can you believe? School will be back in session very soon. And uh, not that far away, the month of August, and uh, it will be pretty much like July. Now, as far as the rainfall, not sure about that. This has turned out to be one of the wettest Julys on record. In fact, we're sitting right now at the fifth wettest July on record for Bowling Green and Southern Kentucky at 9.75. That's nine and three-quarter inches of rain just this month. And we have a surplus now that is right at six inches above the monthly average. If you'll recall, back in June, we were running almost that much behind rainfall. So we're not only caught up with our year-to-date average on rain, but we're now showing a surplus of about an inch and a half. So it's uh, some pretty incredible numbers for the month of July as far as rain is concerned, and we're not done yet. I don't think we'll see anything on the order of what we did yesterday with those uh, very heavy rains, but at any time, even though the rain chance may be small at 30-40%, that's just the chance that you would get rained on. It doesn't tell you how much rain or how hard the rain will fall. So if you happen to be one of those 4 in 10 that get a rainfall or chance of rain today, uh, the rain still could be quite heavy, and you could pick up a lot of rain in a short amount of time. All right, let's review the numbers from yesterday. 86 was the high temperature at the airport at around 3.30. 90, the average high, so we were 4 degrees below average for the first time in many, many days. We did not hit at least 90 degrees. 72 was our low, 68 the average. That's 4 degrees above average. And one year ago, we had almost the same thing, a high of 89 and a low of 74 back in 2015. And we picked up an inch and a half of rain yesterday at the Bowling Green Airport, 1.53 to be exact. So that brings us up to that nine and three quarters or 9.75 for the month of July, showing a surplus of 5.97, almost six inches of rain above the average for July. So we're... (laughs) We're sitting good right now. If we don't get rain for a while, it would uh, be all right. We don't want to go too far because usually the month of August is uh, pretty much like July, uh, warm, hot, humid, and uh, pretty dry, but we'll see. Today we're going to keep in a 4 in 10 chance that you will see a shower or thunderstorm, otherwise warm and humid, and of course, as I mentioned, Just because it's only a 40% chance of showers, that has nothing to do with how hard it will rain or how much. Some of you could pick up a quarter inch of rain with some of those uh, stronger uh, cells as they move through. We're not expecting really severe weather, but a strong thunderstorm or two is possible this afternoon. High of 87. Tonight, we'll continue with a 30% chance of a shower and then patchy fog developing late, a low of 71. Same thing for Saturday, 40% chance of a scattered shower, thunderstorm, 86. And again for Sunday, the last day of July, we'll see a high of 88 scattered showers. Monday, the first day of August, we'll see a 30% chance of a shower, and the high around 90, same goes for Tuesday, 92. Notice the numbers are going up as far as temperature, A warmer flow coming in next week is going to put us right back into the heat and the humidity into the low 90s. Wednesday, the only day that I have in the seven-day forecast with really not a chance of rain. We're just going to keep it partly sunny, hot, humid, 93. Tuesday of next week, we'll see a 20% chance of an isolated shower. Hazy, hot, and humid with a high at 94 So, not a washout this weekend, but just keep in mind that you could get rained on, and when it does rain, it could be heavy. Well, have a good one. That's a look at your forecast, your podcast for this uh, Friday morning, July 29th. 
Don't forget to uh, know the weather before it knows you. Thank you for listening as always, and God bless. I'll see you live at 5.30 on AM Kentucky, 11 a.m. on midday, streaming live to the WBKO app and WBKO.com. And later today, join me, if you can, for my radio show at Classic Hits, Sam 100.7, between 3 and 7 p.m.